Hey, this is Mr. Galoya here again, and uh, I'd like to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about the metric system. And uh, kind of what I'm showing you now is, right now, is this meter stick. And this is kind of a meter stick right here. This is kind of our standard unit of length. So one meter, you know, one meter is our kind of base unit in the physics and in the metric system this is our base unit of length now you can kind of see that this meter stick is in kind of groups of 10 so there's 10 of these groups in one meter stick these groupings here you know if we could divide this meter stick into 10 groups you know each one of these then would be called a deci that's the prefix we use, a deci meter. And what we can do then is we can break this whole meter stick up into units of a hundred. So one all the way to a hundred here. And each one of those is called a centimeter. So there's a hundred centimeters, and that equals to one meter. There's ten deci, you know, decimeters, and that equals to one meter. These, by the way, then are are what are called conversions. You know, this left side really equals to the right side. They're just different units of measure. We could also uh, take this meter stick and we could break it up into a thousand equal units and each one of those would be called in a millimeter you know each one of these things have symbols a meter a symbol for a meter is m the symbol for a decimeter dm the symbol for a centimeter and a symbol then for a millimeter. So a millimeter then is 1,000 equal units. So we take our full meter stick, and we break it up into 1,000. So that would be 1,000 millimeters is the same as one meter. Now these are pretty common use in science, in physics. We like to use the meter a lot, as, and then we also like to use the centimeter. Those are probably two of our most common in physics. You know, we wouldn't have to just be using length. We could also then take volume, and that's what really is kind of nice about the metric system, is we use these same prefixes. So right here, this is one liter. That's a unit of volume, and we can divide this up into milliliters we could divide it up into cent centiliters etc we also then have units of mass and that's the gram and I don't have any examples of that here in front of me but we'll be using that this year in physics also now these three deci centi and milli represents units smaller than a meter we can also take this one meter stick and we can collect more of them together probably the most common at least in physics is if we could put a thousand of these end to end so if we put a thousand if we put a thousand meters end to end we would have this long distance that long distance then is called a kilometer and that's a real famous sort of unit in physics it's given the symbol km you know kilometer is kind of analogous to a mile and actually uh, a mile's a little bit longer than a kilometer but that's kind of what it's analogous to so that's really the basics of the metric system what makes it kind of nice it uses these prefixes and there's a lot of prefixes that I'm not even explaining. There's, you know, mega, which is a million. There's a, you know, gigabyte, if you've heard of that, with computers. 
there's just lots of different prefixes. We don't use that many of them in my class, but we do use some of these prefixes. The other main thing really with the metric system, it's based on tens. And so it's a little bit easier to work with than, uh, than our kind of American system, which has a lot of different types of bases. Bye now.